In this video, we'll talk about the effect of concentration on the rate of an enzyme controlled reaction. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw what what a graph would look like um, and then use that to explain what's going on um, at the level of the enzyme and the substrate. Okay, so what we'll have is we we'll have the rate of the reaction on that axis and in this case the factor we are varying is the substrate concentration. Okay, so uh, let's begin graph, eventually, in initially the rate of reaction increases, it kind of reaches a maximum or op optimal rate of reaction and then it levels off there. Okay, so let's just talk about why this graph looks the way it does. Okay, um, so I find it helpful to explain this in, in three parts. So initially when the substrate concentration is low, that's one part of what's happening and then we have when it begins to level off and then the third stage where there's no further effects of the increasing substrate concentration so what's happening here um, right okay so here uh, what I've done is just shown what the situation is like at this stage of the graph. So I, the main idea is that we have a low substrate concentration, okay, and we have many active sites available. Okay, so at this stage, um, lots of active sites free, not occupied by substrate because the substrate concentration is low. So if we do increase the substrate concentration, there's plenty of potential to increase the formation of the enzyme substrate complex. And if that occurs, we get um, an increase in the rate of product formation. Okay, so many active sites are available. If we do increase the substrate concentration, if we do increase more of those substrates, there's plenty of potential to form more active sites, uh, sorry, uh, more enzyme substrate complexes, and if that does occur will increase the rate of production uh, rate of product formation indicated by the line increasing at this stage i.e. the rate of reaction increasing okay so moving on if the substrate concentration increases further you'll eventually reach a point where all the active sites are occupied and this is a key point Okay, so all active sites are occupied by the substrate, okay? And when this happens, you've kind of reached a maximum formation. You've kind of reached a maximum rate of formation of the enzyme substrate complexes, okay? And therefore, the graph, the, the rate of reaction starts to uh, level off, okay? Starts to level off right there because this has happened, okay? Uh, one thing you can say here is that the, uh, the number of active sites, the number of active sites at this point is a limiting factor. It's stopping the rate from increasing further. Okay. Now we've increased the substrate concentration even further 
And what I hope you'll see is that because we've got all these active sites occupied, now it's not that they are stuck with the same uh, substrate molecule in there, it's that there's, there's no time at which the active site is actually free. Okay, so it's always occupied with substrate. It's constantly converting that into a product. As soon as that product leaves the active site, another substrate is in there almost immediately. We've reached a maximum rate of formation of the enzyme substrate complexes. So if we do increase the substrate concentration even further, if we do increase a substrate concentration even further, we don't increase the rate of formation of the enzyme substrate complex because they're all the enzymes are already working at their maximum rate okay so increasing the substrate concentration at this point has no in uh, causes no increase in the rate of reaction okay so increase in substrate concentration even further does not lead to the formation or does not lead to increase in the rate of enzyme substrate complex formation and this means that you don't get an increase in the rate of product formation okay easy